Hi, I'm Wu Sok Ro, who is the presenter of this research. In our research, we propose a simple method of reward function called converging goal space and binary reward function. My presentation consists of the following parts introduction, proposal, conclusion, and references. Introduction when learning robotic agent, there exist some issues because robotic environment typically possess high dimensional systems, and as such, they are too vast to explore. Particularly, if we do not know, if we do not possess sufficient knowledge about this environment, significant amounts of time and engineering insights are required. Hindsight Express Replay method was proposed to tackle these issues, which can perform multiple tasks better with a sparse and binary reward function than with a dense reward function. In this study, three different tasks are conducted, pushing, sliding, and pick up legs. The main concept of HR is repeating on virtual episode. After an episode finishes, the last position of the object is considered as a virtual goal, and the transition with virtual goal is saved as a successful episode. HER shows that their method performs well in all tasks. However, we determined that the success rate of the slime task is lower than that of, that of the other tasks. The reason for this could be related related to the different size of the environment as well as uncertainties such as sliding or rotational friction. Compared to other tasks, in sliding tests, the agent have a shorter time to control the object and after a short time to short time of control, it cannot control the state until the object is stopped. We introduce an efficient reward function called converging goal space and binary reward function, now we call it CGBR, which performs the best when environments are sufficiently large. Here the goal space is referred to as an area wherein the state can be considered as a success when an object is inside it. In the case of children trying to learn something new, it would be more helpful if they were in course despite failing to achieve their desired goals. We adjust this learning method to reinforcement learning. Proposal We wanted to make the training process better for sliding test. We assumed that because the task is too difficult to achieve, it takes too long time. Because of this reason, we tried to change the size of goal space to make the task easier. As shown in figure 5, the larger the goal space, the faster the learning begins. By contrast, the larger the goal space, the worse the learning results are due to fall into suboptimal policy. Through experiments, we were intrigued to define a simply formed reward function that initially starts in a large core space and gradually decreases to a small space. <clears throat> this would achieve both a fast learning speed and a high accuracy. To tackle the issue mentioned before, we propose a simple method called CGBR. The basic concept of CGBR is to enlarge the initial goal space to provide a faster guide to the target. Giving a large goal space to, so that the learning agent can get reward in the early part of the learning process, even though it is failed in the, in the original learning process. As the number of success count is bigger, convert the size of goal space so that the agent can learn the test step by step. After the number of success count is larger than given value, it learns the test as the original condition. With this method, the learning agent can receive a reward only in the learning process, and this amplifies the optimization of the policy. 
The policy may be converted to the local Ultima at the beginning of training. However, during the training process, old traditions with large goal space are discarded from the lift lay buffer, and new traditions with smaller goal space are stored instead. Here, goal state function gives one reward if the final state of the object is inside of the goal space, otherwise it gives zero. For binary reward function, if an episode is success, then the agent gets zero reward. If it is failed, it gets minus one reward. The goal space conversion function, which is actually our method, will be dealt with in later slide. In this study, we conducted experiments similar to HR using musical physics simulation. To make the environment bigger, we changed the table longer and the goal sample area further. To consider an environment in which the agent only can control an object in a short time, we created a throwing task. Here is trained model of sliding task and throwing task. Figure 6 shows the result of training in the simulation environment. It is clear that our method adds the policy optimization to a great extent for both tasks. For sliding tasks, the success rate of our model is over 40%, much higher than that of HR, which has a success rate of approximately 5%. For the throwing test, the success rate of our model is also higher than that of HR. The standard deviation of the throwing tests are smaller than that of HR. Therefore, our method improves the speed and stability of the learning process. To verify robustness of the proposed method, we compare three different types of goal space convergence functions. We set step-down parameter alpha as 0.2 which means the goal space convergence converts at a 20% shorter distance for every 100 success counts. And we set exponential parameter beta as 2, which means the goal space converges at a rate that distance is halved for every 100 success counts. Converging threshold n is set to 500 for linear convergence, which means after the goal space converges linearly until 500 success counts. Experimental results do not have a significant difference among methods. As shown in figure 7, it shows that CGVR can be applied robustly regardless of convergence method, while changing hyperparameters can affect the experimental result. We demonstrate the sliding task using a real world robotic arm. The real-world implementation experiment confirmed that the policy trend in the simulation environment also performs well in the real-world scenario. Conclusion I'd like to conclude by saying CGBR can be employed for learning in a wide range of environments with use of a binary reward function. And the experiment results show that our approach improves learning efficiency for both the sliding and throwing tasks. Performance can be improved by delicate shaping. However, we show our method can be applicable roughly through the experiment with various convergence functions. For our future works, we will apply to more complex tests such as block stacking or putting a ball in the box, and we'll compare experiment result with and without human demonstration. Now we are building a system to make demonstration from real to simulation. And we'll make an algorithm we can control the size of goal space during training so that it can make the training process optimally. This is our references.
Thank you for watching my presentation.